Right now we'll go to show how to expose the screen using fluorescent tube unit. We manufacture three different types and sizes of fluorescent units. The first is the small one which is a 20 by 24 exposure area on that unit and that has eight 18 inch bulbs that are each 15 watts so that puts out 120 watts of UV light. The next size up is the 25 by 36 with uh, open face and then also with a compression lid. The 25 by 36 has eight 36 inch bulbs that each put out 30 watts so that does 240 watts of UV light, twice as powerful as the small one. And the largest one right now is the X Factor which is a still a 25 by 36 exposure area but it has a little bit open, more open face to it because it has light safe bulbs in it. You can check out the video in the advanced section on how to use the X Factor but we'll kind of cover on how to use each unit. The first two units, the 20 by 24 and the open face 25 by 36, use a foam lid and then compression by putting weight on top of the screen. That increases the positive contact to the frame to about 40 to 50 pounds. So what we want to do is we want to ensure this film is pressed directly tight against the screen mesh. If we simply set the frame on the exposure unit, but keep in mind I'm kind of emulating these smaller units because I'm not going to be using the vacuum lid. or the. So if we simply set the frame on the exposure unit like so, it wouldn't create any type of positive contact for us. I can even see right here that I could, I could see space and air between the image and the film. What we need to do is we need to press this screen mesh directly down into the mesh and we need to do that evenly. We're going to do that by using the foam that came with your exposure unit. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to set your foam in the unit and you're going to mark off the inner dimensions of the frame around the foam. Then you're going to take a sharp scissors or an X-Acto knife and cut the foam to fit snug inside your frame. Then we'll center it in our exposure unit and we'll apply weight. Now when we apply weight we typically recommend 40 to 60 pounds. So that's about 4 to 5 gallons of water or gallons of chemical. Um, right now we'll be using our chemicals in the screen room. Or you can even use dumbbell weights. So this is 4 and to be on the safe side you can even do 5. What this is doing right now is pressing the weight of the foam and the weight on top of the foam into the mesh evenly distributing the weight using this board on top of it in order to make that positive contact needed for optimal exposure. Now the great thing about this unit is you can get into one of these units for under $400 and you can do half tones with it. The reason we can expose half tones this way is because we have enough positive pressure by the weight we're putting on top of the frame and the board and the foam in order to press that mesh directly into the film and sandwich it against the glass so that no light works its way around those half tones. Now when we expose we want to be sure to be in the center of the exposure unit, have enough weight on top, use a board and the foam once again to reiterate and then we expose the screen. Now with the 24 by 20, uh, 20 by 24 exposure unit we're going to be exposing standard 110 mesh screens for about five and a half minutes. With the 25 by 36 unit that has twice as much power, we're going to be exposing 110 screens for about four and a half minutes as the light starts and you get the unit directly out of the box. Now keep in mind, these are like tanning bed bulbs. So as you use them more, they dim. And as they dim, you need to increase your exposure times. We'll talk more about this later in the advanced section and during the washout. We'll tell you how to pinpoint under exposure and how to know when you need to start increasing your times. So most of the standard units have a simple timer on the side that you turn to roughly five or six minutes depending on the type of mesh you have and expose the screen. Now the exposure units also come with directions that give recommended guidelines for how long you should expose using the dual cure emulsion or the water based emulsion depending on the type of emulsion that you're using. Now we can't guess every type of emulsion out there on the market. We know certain types of emulsions especially the ones that we sell and the dual cure emulsions especially. But if you have some type of emulsion that we're not familiar with you can try to guess, but you typically want to give how many watts your unit is outputting and let the emulsion manufacturer kind of give you the recommended exposure time for that. So now we'll go ahead and expose the screen. For this screen, we're going to set it to four and a half minutes because we are using eight bulbs and they're 36 inch bulbs. With, an, with the other unit, we'll show you how that works in a second, but that's simply turning a timer and that turns it on. With this one, we actually hit a switch and that starts the exposure. Depending on how your darkroom is set up, 
you might want to consider putting a black sheet over your exposure unit, especially if you have frames directly to the right or the left of it. This does put out, especially the open face units, will put out UV light. Now, if you're using a vacuum unit or a compression lid, you really don't need to worry about it. But with the open face units, you could use a black sheet and drape it over to protect the UV light from reaching other areas of your screen room. Once this is done exposing, we'll come back and wash it out. But for now, we'll let it do its work. Once our exposure unit has shut off, it does have an automatic timer on it, so it shuts off automatically. Take off the weight, take off the lid, and take off the screen. Take the film off the unit, and recommend take the tape off the film. This is now ready for washout. You should see your image in the emulsion. Now keep in mind that the area where you see the image is unexposed, so this does need to be in a light safe area like we explained before using the exposure stand. We've now demonstrated how to expose a screen using an open-faced automated UV exposure unit. Check out these other videos to see how to expose using an X-Factor and a compression lid unit. Let's now take this screen and wash it out.